everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Detective Conan chapters 1131 through 1133. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable Will Bubba Kitty, who's somewhere around here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime among content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below, as well as the link to our Patreon where we are doing our anime live reaction content, because... Unlike YouTube, where um, we'd have to worry about getting a copyright strike for showing anything on the screen, well, Patreon, we don't have to worry about that. So we can have our full setup of the anime and manga side by side and have uh, the audio to boot, which is really coming handy for busting up botch localization or two. And um, the more subscribers and views uh, we get on Patreon, the more anime we'll cover. And if you're a $10 patron, you get to choose the series we cover as well. And there's a stack ball anime season on the horizon, so please check out our Patreon. The link is in the description box below. So, um, I'm sorry this video is a little bit later than it should have been, um, because for those of you that don't know, um, I, I just can't support... Viz's um, botch localization of Detective Conan because unlike the majority of um, official localizations out there, that one is unreadable. There's just no way, no way I can use the Viz localization for Detective Conan. There's just no way. I'm just, I'm lucky that there's a, um, a fan translation available for Detective Conan still. Otherwise, I don't know if I could still cover it or not. But anyways, we're going to uh, finish up um, the current case, um, which is the Devil's uh, Puppet case. So let's get to 1131 um, first, see what's in store for us today, which is titled The Lead um, Colored Middle Day. The curtain rises on the Devil's Puppet Show. Uh, the third part of the marionette murder case. Could the bizarre bodies uh, be the Devil's doing? The case has only just begun. I called an ambulance just in case, but I reckon it's too late, right? Um, but why did uh, Kakiwaki-san have to get killed? Uh, since she was murdered, there must be another message, I right? Yeah, this was inside the body's pocket. A body with a bizarre pose right beside it is once again a smartphone with this message. Uh, two more left, the marionette devil. That means the murders are going to continue, but still it's weird. This body's pose, that's I. Right. Um, it looks the same as uh, when Narasawa-san died. It looks as if she was uh, being controlled by someone. It's it's all my fault. It's because of me that uh, Kabumoto-san's cursing us all. Uh, um, cursing us all from the afterlife. It's all, it's all my... Huh? What are you even talking about? Um, you okay, Kur um, Kuraishi? Uh, that body's pose. Doesn't it look similar to uh, that thing we used in a play a while ago? Now that you mention it, it sure does. Um... In any case, only five people, including the late uh, Kakiwaki-san, left the rehearsal room during the question. So that means it's very likely that the culprit is among those four. Sure looks like it. But Anzaka-san was sleeping in the nap room. And uh, Kureishi-san, who went to wake him up, um, has an alibi too. Uh, Yoshiura-san was in the bathroom the whole time. So the most suspicious is um, Nagakuba-san, who went to the convenience store to buy cigarettes. Uh, to buy cigarettes. But something just doesn't sit right. Yeah, even I don't. Huh? Huh? Where'd it go? Ain't this what you're looking for? Um, aww. We came here on your bike today. Um, did you forget you gave me your hat? Um, before putting on your helmet? Oh, th that's right. <laughs> sort of the brim of your hat forwards is like uh, flipping a switch, right? Um, wrap this case up quickly so we could take uh, Ranchan and the others to enjoy some sightseeing in Osaka. K -k Kazuha? Once this case, woo! Once this case is solved, how about we watch the sunset from the observation deck of um, Naniwa Haruka's uh, this, e this evening? <gasps> Are we gonna finally get the confession? Um, huh? Why? What do you mean, why? Because the sunset's got a reputation of being real pretty from up there. Yeah, okay. I'm sure that Ranchon and Ran No, you fucking moron! I'm sure Ranchon and the others will love it too. 
Ron and, <laughs> Ron and Conan are like, you fucking moron! Wait, hold on, I didn't meet with everyone, you know. Hmm? My phone. Oh, it's from my mom. Uh, what? Uh, what you saying? We're at a crime scene right now. Wait a minute. Don't be talking nonsense, Kaza! Let's refuse even if we are invited, okay? Yeah, that's for the best. <laughs> Alright then, um, we're gonna redo the questioning. Now those who were questioned uh, today, please come to uh, the room once um, uh, once more when you're called. This time we're gonna have a cop assigned to each of you, so make sure you don't do um, don't try anything funny. Um, hey Chan, uh, would you tag along for the questioning again? Of course. Hey ya. Uh, um, if you're thinking about going to Naniwa um, Haruka's, don't get me wrong, um, but I wouldn't, huh? Why not? If I'm not wrong, they're starting renovations on the observation deck beginning tomorrow. For real? Yes, in order to make the interior complement um, the scenic spot, or so I heard. That's starting tomorrow, aye? So this evening should be fine. Take a look at the sky. Whoa, looks like it's about to rain any time now. No! How many times are I going to tell ya? Um, I was sleeping in the nap room when uh, Kakiwaki-san fell and died. But all uh, that you heard was Kakiwaki-san screaming and the so um, sound of something hitting the ground, right? Someone could have played a recording at just the right moment. Then why'd you ask the, those kids who came um, with uh, Karaishi to wake me up? Yeah, the scream kept getting further and further away, and also the thud sound from hitting the ground sounded like it came from below. In that case, it could have been a mannequin or something that you saw sleeping then. That ain't possible. Though his mouth was covered with a blanket, um, he turned over in, the, in bed. Stop with the yapping. I told you to come wake me up alone, didn't I? And though the room was dimly lit, he properly responded back. In that case, it means that someone indeed called um, Kakiwaki-san to the rooftop at that time and pushed her off. Then that mean, then that body's strange manner of death could just be a coincidence. Ah, oh, right. I thought uh, that pose looked familiar. Um, just like the uh, semaphore code that we used in uh, the previous play. Yes, we did use that code in the previous play. It was a lot of trouble memorizing that as uh, uh, Kabumoto-san told me to. In that play, a boy and a girl from two feeding families in Kyoto fell, uh, fall in love with each other, but are forbidden from using phones or sending letters. And there was a scene where um, they stand on their respective verandas and um, express their love using that communication method. Apparently, it was a text code originally used in France um, uh, around the 19th century. Then, could you read the poses of the next two vic uh, poses of the two victims uh, using that uh, text code? It looks like there are four letters in total. Hmm. What's the matter? What? Whoa! What? What was that sound? Did she just? Did she die just now? Kazuya, you're just in time. Uh, take care. Um, care of her along with Ron. Um, it's the second time she's fainted, right? Uh, she's hiding something. Ooh, did she do it? Yeah, I thought the same thing. That the poses of both of the bodies look like, uh, that, what's it called, um, code we used in the last play. Then, do you happen to know what those poses could mean? No, no, you see, the code was only used in the play by the lead actors, um, Anzaka and Karashi-san. So what's the pose supporting actor Sydney to memorize it? However, since it was uh, from a recent performance, the coach chart might still be in the car in the, um, in the parking lot here. Um, I'll go fetch it then, since I've also forgotten the code. Hey, smoking's prohibited inside. This hole in my mouth. I was gonna smoke outside. Oh, hey, are you all right? Yeah, it's nothing. Ooh, what's going on? Huh? He's showing up on it? Uh, got it. You can return. I have sent my subordinate to check the convenience store security camera footage, and it's confirmed that you uh, were at the store when um, Kakiwaki-san fell and died. That means I've got a perfect alibi, right? If my questioning is done, can I go smoke there on the veranda? It's the only place with the built-in ashtray. Mm. Let's see. As I said at the time Gakiwaki-san fell, I was holed, um, holed up in the bathroom, and the witnesses there were none, none other than you people. It's true that you spoke... Um, with us through the bathroom door, but it was just your voice that we that we heard, and that was um what uh five minutes then that was what five minutes before Kakiwaki san fell. Within those five minutes, you could have done anything. What do you mean by anything? Uh um, can we talk about this after I come back from the bathroom? My stomach is acting up once again. Mm hmm. So what was that call from your mom about? Nothing serious, so don't worry. I'd like to meet her once. Uh, she's an ex-8 elite agent of Osaka Pre Prefectural Police's Firearms Control Unit. Tab, uh, Very strong and beautiful, too. Oh, really? Kurashi-san, um, we've got the drinks. Uh, uh-huh. Where's Kurashi-san? Huh? 
Right after you two went out to get some uh, drinks from the vending machine, she said that she wanted to choose for herself after all and followed, huh? That sound just now sounds like the wind. Mean the, um, that the rooftop door? What the fuck? Crash son, stay away. Kamamoto san's angry at me for running the uh, for ruining the play all the way from uh, the afterlife. That's why I have to. Di what the fuck? That's why I have to die. I have to die, or these murders won't stop. Huh? What the hell? The railing of the veranda's broken. Uh, wait, that means. Whoa! Not Na Nagakuma san. Nagakubo! Dude! So he was the next victim! Hey, nagakubo san No, you can't get it, go any closer! Damn it, another person got killed! Moreover, again, like a puppet! I got this from the police officer downstairs just now. This is the chart for, um, the sem uh, semaphore code. Alright, here we go. So, what pose is he in? According to the chart, the first victim, narasawa san is E. Uh, Kakiwaki-san is B, and now, uh, Nagakuba-san's I. Hey, 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 if the fourth victim is L, evil, like, like the devil. Dude, this case is a trip! Decrypting the code, the truth's footsteps draw nearer. Oh my god, this is a trip! Alright, let's get to, um, 1132. The detective, um... I'm sorry, uh, 1132 is titled The Diluted Ink Colored um, uh, Penal uh, Tamade Day. There we go. The detectives will decipher them all. Codes were hidden within the dead um, bodies and emotions within those codes. Uh, let's see. The fourth chapter of the marionette murder case. A third body has been discovered. The poses of those bodies were, uh, of the bodies were codes. Um, what have you been, oh, wait, what have you been doing, uh, Otaki? I apologize. Um, two more people were killed during the interrogation. If this, uh, were the Showa era, I'd be is senseless. I'm glad it's the real era. <laughs> so Showa era is the era in the Japanese calendar from, uh, 1926 to, uh, 1989. Yeah! I, I was born at the end of the Showa era. Um, and the Reiwa era is the current era in the Japanese calendar 2019 on. Um, Kazuya-chan, your father is really intimidating. Well, he's the head of the Osaka Professional Police, but dude, I want to see Kazuya's mama. She sounds like a scary bitch. The body count has finally risen to three, but this sure is a strange case. The first victim, Narasawa, um, Miku-san, uh, the second victim, Kakiwaki, uh, um, Ayari-san, and finally, the third victim, uh, Nagakubo, um, Nabuya-san, all their deaths were out of the ordinary. Yeah, and there's uh, those bizarre ma uh, messages attached. The message, um, I am the marionette devil, was written on the phone of the first victim, Narasawa-san. Um, the message, uh, two more left, the marionette devil, was written on the phone of um, the second victim, Kakiwaki-san. And on the phone um, that uh, fell next to the body of the most recent victim uh, to fall to their death, uh, Nagakubo-san, there was the message from Stage 8, the marionette devil. What's it mean? Beats me. I surely thought it'd say one more left, the marionette devil. That's what I thought it was going to say, but, hmm. The word stage I, uh, I think it's stage right, is, uh, the theatrical term for the left side of the stage. So in theatrical term, um, Shimoto, um, or, uh, wait, sorry, Shimode, or, uh, stage right means the left side of the stage, um, uh, from the audience's POV, which is the right side of the stage from the actor's POV. I love translation notes. I wish Viz would use them more often. If the last letter is L, um, reading it from left to right would uh, spell uh, evil as in devil. Hmm. Anyway, don't let your guard down, um, Utaki. Uh, if the culprit said they, uh, they were going to kill four people, we got to uh, protect the remaining one at all costs. Got it. So the last pose um, for uh, the final victim is going to be a D. More... <laughs> Moreover, someone um, who shouldn't be here is mixed in with the crowd. What's that? Um, are you talking about me? Uh, sir, that's going too far. You certainly killed someone in the past. Um, but it was ruled a self-defense and he was found not guilty. Yeah, uh, the kid from that time. Well, if there are three suspects, then we need to assign two police officers to keep each of them, um, uh, to keep, uh, each of them and uh, uh, keep watch until the case is resolved. If there's um, another murder, Chief Haizo's gonna uh, punch your face to a pulp! You 
No, it's the rain. What era? If it's my, if it's my daddy, my chest. <laughs> it's not wrong. Hey, Tori. Hmm? This is strange. This handrail that fell off in the third floor balcony. I thought it broke off due to uh, wearing out from rust, but there are traces left behind from what looks like it having been melted with liquid gall uh, gallium. Yes, yeah, since this handrail seems to be made of aluminum, just applying gallium would cause it to be corroded and fall apart in about half a day. If you lean on such a handrail, it'll come right off. Um, it'll come off right away, and you're gonna fall head first. But it wouldn't work if you um, didn't know that this room with the handrail uh, equipped veranda would be used for questioning. We must. Um, we chose the most organized room, so someone might have cleaned it up deliberately to make it happen. By the way, I overheard Anzaka-san's story earlier, huh? About him killing someone in the past. Yeah, that was eight years ago. A very beautiful girl transferred from Tokyo to a high school in Osaka, and it became quite the uh, topic of conversation. That girl was Karaishi-san. She caught the attention of a local delinquent gang. Um, Karaishi-san was, uh, um, was about to be forced into a car when Anzaka, who was coming back from baseball practice, intervened. Damn! The delinquents came at him with knives, so Anzaka used a metal bat and ended up dealing a heavy blow to the head of the leader of the delinquents, killing him. Hey! Motherfucker had it coming! He, he had a knife on him! What, are you, what was he supposed to do? The delinquents claimed it uh, to be too excessive uh, for self-defense in court. What the fuck? He was coming at him with a knife! But a passerby uh, happened to record the incident on a smartphone. Mm-hmm. Because of this, it was ruled as a self-defense, um... And Anzaka was found not guilty. Well, yeah, looking at it, um, Bro was coming at him with a knife, and he was going to stab him in, like, the head. So, yeah, um, he had that shit coming. Uh, the person who recorded the video was uh, Yoshihura-san to avoid the delinquents uh, who were bothering the two even after the incident. Yoshihura-san then invited him to join the theater uh, troupe he belonged to in Tokyo after they graduated from high school. So it seemed that the three of them uh, are old acquaintances. Yes, apparently Yoshihara-san took him uh, to the observation deck of uh, the Naniwa um, Harukas. Uh, he told him, if uh, you're going to live in Tokyo, burn this Osaka town, uh, in Osaka town in your eyes since uh, you won't be able to see it for a while. Then maybe this case is related to that old incident? It might be. The phone of the first victim, uh, Narasawa-san, had had a, um, a screenshot of a news article about that incident. I is that true? Inspector um, Otaki were... Um, Inspector Otaki, we're starting the interrogation. Then let's go. Um, you guys are outsiders, so you don't need to join. Um, that's what Chief Investigator Toyama said. But Kazuha and her, uh, but Kazuha and her are joining. Apparently, those two were on the rooftop with Karaishi-san um, uh, when uh, Nakuba-san uh, fell. Sorry about that, Hei-chan. Oh, Inspector Otaki, hmm? this is yours, right? Yeah, appreciate it. Hmm, that sneaky mofo. I see what you did, Conan. He put a bug in there. I'm telling you, when uh, Nakuba-san fell to his death, I was downstairs in the parking lot. Um, there's no way I could have pushed uh, Nakuba-san from the third floor, right? But it looks like the railing was likely to break off easily, right? Uh, so if you called him uh, from downstairs, in that case, why don't you ask the two police officers who were with me? Because I wasn't saying anything at the time. It's coming through loud and clear, huh? Yeah, all thanks to Otaki-san. Uh, to Otaki-han. Yeah, otaki do. Um... And, well, we've um, pretty much heard all the uh, three te suspects' testimonies now, but all three of them are kind of suspicious, aren't they? You said it, but first there's uh, Anzaba-san, who went to fetch the, the uh, semaphore code chart from the car in the parking lot. The fact that uh, Nakakubo-san fell down from the second floor immediately after the two police officers looking uh, after Anzaka-san left to retrieve the smart uh, semaphore uh, for chart that was, um, that was blown away is super suspicious. Even without calling out, there must have been ways for him to catch uh, Nagakubo-san's eye. And um, apparently by the time the police officers uh, noticed Nsaka-san was already next to the body. Karaishi-san, who was about to throw herself to her death from the rooftop in front of um, Ron and Kazuna-chan, had a chance as well. Maybe she called out loudly uh, to get his attention. Stay away! So that, when he looked up, um, tried to look upwards, he would lean against the um, corroded railing, causing him to plunge to his death. That's actually a good point. Speaking of, same goes for uh, Yoshihura-san, who was holed up in the bathroom. Even though there was a police officer guarding him, he could have caused uh, Na uh, Nakakuba-san to fall by sending him a uh, mail saying, uh, have a look down from the veranda. But 
Only that one person could have done that other thing, right? Yeah. The only one who could have snapped uh, Nagakuba-san's body like the eye from the semaphore uh, for code is uh, um, Anzaka-san, who was next to the body at the time. But when Kakiwaki-san fell to her death, Anzaka-san was sleeping in the nap room. Hmm. Something's missing here. It seems like there was some sort of certificate of honor hanging here, uh, hanging there. It's been missing since this morning. For real? Yes, it was a certificate from when uh, we won um, Nichiri's Grand Theater Prize. That play was amazing, right? The way that uh, Kakibaki-san acted uh, shocked when she found a dead body in the play, screaming, ah, is it possible to watch that play? Hmm. I think it was her. If, there was, if she is that good of an actress, if she's got to be the killer. There was a tablet with a recording of that play on it, but that's missing too. Hey, one thing. Um... Someone came to the back door just claiming uh, to be Anzaka-san's mother. Uh, she said she has proof Anzaka-san can't be the culprit. Shouldn't we tell that to the police? What? You're saying you got a photo of uh, Narasawa-san falling? Um, when I heard from um, uh, someone, uh, heard someone from the theater group uh, that my son was being suspected uh, of something, I rushed over and brought it. Um, look, it, look, uh, um, it's in the photo here. Whoa! That's trippy. That's Narasawa-san, ain't it? For real. So then Anzaka-san wasn't the culprit after all. But why didn't you show the photo, that photo to the police? Um, that boy, he went to where Narasawa-san fell, but came back with a grim face and told me, don't you ever show this photo to anybody. That's what he said. Huh? That day might have been the last time I could have watched my son's play, so I went to see it. But I never thought he'd end up getting wrapped up in something like this. Last time you, uh, you sick or something? It's my son who's sick. Oh no, what? He's um, keeping it in check with meds right now, but it seems like he's been enduring a lot. Um, though apparently he hasn't told anyone except Yoshihira, Yoshihira oh my god, Yoshihira uh, san about it. Now I understand, I finally understand it, Hitori, the truth behind the serial murder and the meaning of those words too. All right, I'll bring Inspector uh, Otaki and the others here. You call Kazuha-chan. Why? Look at the sky, the sky. It's clearing up. Um, this kind of good luck won't come around again. That's why I nearly forgot. I gotta call Kazuha and tell her to come alone to watch the sunset at the observation de uh, deck of uh, Naniwa uh, Haruka's. Is it, dude, if we do not get this confession, I will hate life. Hmm? By any chance, uh, the call just now, was it from hatori -kan? No, no, it was from Dad. He was yelling at me, saying, don't do anything. Tom! <laughs> now then, since uh, the questioning's over, um, shall we head out too? Where to? To uh, Naniwa Haruka's, ain't it obvious? Inspector Otaki, the suspect escaped from the convenience store toilet, just as we expected. I know where he's headed towards. Naniwa Haruka's, yeah, there he is. As expected, it was you, wasn't it? Um, the case reaches its resolution as the sunset draws near. The one behind the serial murders, well, it's the final show. Time to bring down the curtain on this killing drama, don't you think? All right, let's see. Let's see who the killer is. And this chapter is titled The um, Matter Colored Final Day. Uh, the story heads to its climax. Uh, wait, sorry, I fucked this up. All stages have been set. The story end, heads to its final, uh, heads to its climax, and there's the evil behind them. Yeah. Three were killed. Their bizarre uh, bodies contain codes. Now deciphered after piecing together uh, the puzzle pieces, the detectives finally cornered the culprit. A uh, corner the culprit. Oh my god. Um, well, it's the final show. Uh, time to bring down the curtains on this killing drama, don't you think? Wait, it is Anzaka! Anzaka Temasa. Um, the culprit being cornered at uh, Naniwa Haruka's. Me, the culprit? What you talking about? Wasn't I sleeping in the nap room when Kakiwaki-san was pushed off and killed? Moreover, you guys were also with Karashi when she came to wake me up, and didn't, didn't you say during the question that I was sound asleep? How could I have pushed uh, Kakiwaki-san while I was uh, sleeping on the bed? Well, that's easy, because back then, the one lying on the bed, lying in bed, wasn't really ya, uh, wasn't really ya. Whoa, whoa, so, dude, it was him! Interesting. Whoa, whoa. Are you really saying it was a mannequin? To, to pull the, off this trick, you used the tablet and uh, the glass frame from that certificate display hanging in the hallway. Dude, that was sneaky. For, 
um, first you recorded a video of yourself um, from neck up uh, laying down with uh, your head on a pillow, casually turning over and um, and sleep. Then uh, you blacked out the background, and then you placed yourself, um, and then you placed that tablet on uh, the bed in such a way that uh, the glass you dropped. Uh, the glass you propped up uh, next to it would um, reflect the video on the sur on surface too. That's actually pretty genius. And the blacked out part of the uh, the background would appear see through on the glass, making it look like you were actually sleeping there. Of course, you tilted uh, the tablet in order to hide it within uh, the pile of blankets so that Karaishi saw when see uh, the screen when she came to wake you. I have to wonder though, did Karaishi work with him on this? Because. Because Christ, she's supposed to be an amazing actress. So that's all I'm like, hmm. The proof is that the mole behind your ear was on uh, the right side of the video. The real mole is behind your left ear. Well, then what about the voice? Y'all were there to wake me up, remember? Um, I told you to come wake me up alone, didn't I? Um, are you saying I predicted that and recorded my voice ahead of time? That wasn't a recorded voice. You were outside the nap uh, room window answering through the curtain, weren't you? You hid your mouth... Um, with a blanket in the video that was being projected on the glass so that you could speak whenever you needed to. Sneaky. And after you nonchalantly answered the ones who uh, came to wake you up, you threw a trash bag uh, with a voice recorder uh, that, uh, that had recorded um, that re had recorded Kakiwaki-san's screams uh, from an earlier play and replayed the, uh, the scream. That was sneaky, okay! As it fell into the garbage area right next to, uh, to the body of Kakiwaki-san, who uh, you'd pushed down and killed beforehand. Then when the, um, we stepped out onto the balcony, you exchanged places with us, um, sneaking back inside the room, and hit the tablet and glass you used for, um, for the trick with the blanket. And as we looked down the balcony and found Kakiwaki-san's body, uh, you joined us from behind, um, as if um, nothing happened, didn't ya? So you actually pushed off Kakiwaki-san uh, before you even went into the nap room. And looking at how she didn't even scream when she was pushed off, you must have knocked her out with a stun gun or something when you uh, called her up to the roof, right? Well, you probably went down and posed uh, the body to look like um, V from the coat, but it was lucky that no one saw you. Luck, you say? Well, in that case, um, was it also because of luck that uh, Nakakubo just happened to fall from that balcony while stepping out to, uh, to smoke? Seems like the handrail was tampered with to make it easy to break, but if Nakakubo hadn't been there, I couldn't have made him fall, I? That's why you had a cigarette in your mouth at the time, right, Anzaka-san? Um, so that Nakakubo would uh, head out to the balcony where the built-in ashtray, uh, ashtray was. It is said that there are some cigarette smokers who have the urge to smoke just from the sight of uh, someone else having a cigarette. That was sneaky. And then Zaka-san, um, when you were in the parking lot searching for the semi, uh, uh, for code chart, you confirmed that uh, Nakakubo-san was on the balcony and sent him a text uh, saying, check the parking lot, right? So what you saying happened after that, huh? I told Otaki-san this too. I didn't make any sound that time. You intentionally kept quiet. If you put both your hands over your mouth, pretending to scream and moved your mouth like this, he would lean over the handrail of uh, um, the balcony to try and hear what, you say, what you're what you saying, right? Um, and since the handrail had become weak after you had coated parts of it with, uh, um, with Galleon beforehand, just putting his weight on the handrail was enough to make it break and, and he fell down. And knowing full well Nagakubo-san was going to fall, he purposely uh, let the code chart blow away and use the... Um, Use the moment when the two cops accompanying you went to fetch it uh, to rush towards Nakakubo-san's fallen body and pose it in the shape of the letter I from the code, then retrieve uh, Nakakubo-san's smartphone um, that uh, contained the text from you and placed, uh, and placed the smartphone with the message uh, from uh, Stage Eight, the marionette devil, didn't you? Did I get anything wrong? As expected, the detective whom uh, Haichi was uh, uh, modeled after, I can't get out of this one, can I? The truth is, I killed someone a long time ago, and those three were, and those three were gonna spill it. So I just started killing them off one by one. But bro, there was no reason to do that. You, you were proven innocent. You did it for Karaishi san didn't you? What? Your mom showed us something—a picture of you, yeah, and your, um, and your mom with uh, Narasaba san falling in the background. Even though there couldn't be an alibi any more perfect than this, you told her don't show it to anyone because you were uh, protecting somebody. Uh, you found um, you found it, didn't you? The smartphone showing the screenshot, uh, the article about the the case where you killed someone a long time ago next to the body of Narasawa-san after she fell. This is also something I heard from your mom. 
Um, apparently you have stomach can oh, apparently you have stomach cancer and on top of it it's in the final stage. She was crying saying you were gonna quit acting, which means even if that article gets out, it wouldn't cause you any trouble. Also, um Yoshihara san who knew you were quitting cause um uh cause of your illness uh wouldn't be hurt by it either. The only one who would hate for that article to come out and for you to quit acting is uh, Karaishi san the, the one you saved in that old case. That's why when you saw that screenshot, you had a hunch, right? The one who made Narasawa fall to her death. I knew it! Could be other anyone other than Karaishi san I knew she was involved. I fucking called it. I knew Karaishi had to be involved in some way. So she was the one that did the first killing. No. No way, you idiot! When Narasawa's phone fell down, Christ, she was already at the scene, right? That was Narasawa-san's smartphone in which you wrote a message making it look like it was from the killer. And you singly threw it towards the body from the crowd, right? So that uh, people would think the culprit dropped it from upstairs. You would guess that Kuraishi san would definitely show up to the scene and retrieve the phone showing that article. But nakakuba san saw you were the first to rush over to where Narasawa-san fell, and he realized you were covering it up to protect Kuraishi san Maybe kakiwaki san also saw you throw the phone at the scene and realized the same thing. It seems that um, kakiwaki san knew about the old incident and was convinced that uh, kuraishi san would step down from the role of uh, Kaede. And then bo uh, both of them uh, came to threaten, not her, but Ya, yeah, who, uh, who was so close to her, by saying something like, if you don't want to be exposed, pay up. Oh man, this all could have been avoided. You motherfuckers could have gotten it for extortion. Or blackmail or something if you don't want to be exposed, pay up, or get Karaishi san to step down from the role. I didn't directly threaten Karaishi san because they figured with her personality she might end uh, might end up committing suicide if they came to her. Which she did threaten to do. That's where you thought um that there's no other way to protect Karaishi san except silencing those two. And then you came up with the idea, right? The fact that Narasawa san's body was coincidentally posed in the shape of the letter E from the code. Uh, could be used to make it look like a serial murder case. And to make us think that it was you who committed the crimes that resembled the curse of kapamoto san who was called um, Marionette Devil. Also that you could hide karashi sans crime, right? That's right, the fourth one uh, to die would be you out of remorse for committing murders. Uh, you intended to jump um, into the courtyard from the back atrium while sticking out uh, both your elbows like this, right? Um, Narasawa-san was E, Kakiwaki-san was V, nagakubo san was I, and you, um, and with you as L, evil, in other words, um, was in order to make it look like a bloodthirsty killer was spelling out the letters of, uh, the devilish word. Um, but you also, uh, thought this, that Karaishi-san won't confess to her crime in order to keep that old case of yours from going public, but if you left her alone, she might end up taking her own life while staying quiet about it. That's why you wrote from stage I on nagakubo sans uh, smartphone, meaning I when, um, when looked from uh, the perspective of uh, the, the actors on the stage. So in other words, if you wrote the word evil um, uh, horizontally and read it from the right, from the eye, it's live. Um, it's live. Oh, you should live is what your message meant. Aww. It was a message meant um, for only Karaishi san who was an actor. Um, and what's more, someone who could uh, read the room or read that code from memory. Damn it. Aww. It's pointless. We won't let you die. The Osaka Prefectural Police have surrounded the area. And also, it looks like uh, Karaishi san has turned herself in. Huh? Yeah, and Karaishi san are dating, right? Um, apparently, that day, Karaishi san was called up to the rooftop by Narasawa san and told, um, break up with Tema and give up uh, the Kaede role if you don't want um, uh, Tema's old case to be made public. But if people found out about this old case, then Tema, uh, the person you uh, like, might not be able to con continue as an actor. You see, I'm the type that destroys the, the things that I can't have. What a bitch! Then there was a scuffle over the smartphone. Apparently, Narasawa-san accidentally fell down, and that's the whole truth. Well, we'll get uh, into the details at the station. Uh, but you did, fi but you did figure out that I was planning to commit suicide by jumping from here. Eight years ago, this is the place where Kuraishi san and uh, yeah, resolved to live in Tokyo, right? Since you were leaving the message lived, this seemed like the only place to do it. Aww. Besides, you also said, if you're thinking about going to Naniwa um, Haruka's, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't. And I wondered if that's because you were planning to die here. Yeah, I thought it'd turn into a mess if you brought a girl along, but I can't die now, look. What a beautiful sunset. 
Oh, damn, I forgot again! Kaza, I hope you're coming! Kaza, no, the number you're trying to call is not reachable. Why'd you pick it up? Huh? A call? Kaza? Oh, Tori kind it's Ron. Is Kaza Chan there? Ron, Ron Chan, look, look, del looks delish. Uh, she's here on um, underground level one. Underground level, you say? Damn, the sun's almost set. You know, she takes the elevator now. I won't make it in time. Damn it, what am I gonna do over and over again? Damn, poor Heiji! <laughs> I'm an idiot. I just wanted to tell Kaza that I love her. <gasps> oh my god, Oh my god! Is that true? So, she confessed! Oh my god! Is that really true? Ah, uh, you see, that was just Heiji. It's true. Oh my god! It finally happened! Oh my god, it finally happened! It was the best day of my life and it finally happened! Finally! Momoji Oji-sama, I'm winning the, uh, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Momoji Oji-sama, I'm winning the uh, A-class individual tournament, tournament of the Hakura Hiyaku and Ishu High School Championship. A heartfelt congratulations. Why is it that these tears aren't stopping? Oh, Shusama, I'm, I'm sad even though I won. Why, I wonder? Oh, the sun has, uh, sun has set. Oh, she knows she lost. Kazachan, it's because you're being so slow. Well, it'll set eventually, I right? Um, it's the sun after all. Oh. Kazachan's father. I told you not to do anything dumb over the phone, didn't I? Dumb? Actually, I made a bit with Kaza. Wait a minute, so she wasn't there? Wait, what? Um, I told you not to do anything dumb or the phone, didn't I? Dumb? Actually, I made a bet with Kazuha. Huh? I was like, if I cover my mouth like that, too, I could still pass as a high school girl, don't you think? And if Ron-chan, um, doesn't notice, it's it's my win. Uh, what are you talking about, Kazuha-chan? No, I'm not Kazuha-chan. Oh, no, oh my god, so her mom was there the whole time? I'm her mother, tell you I'm a Sakura. What? Seriously? She looks and sounds just like her. Besides, didn't I tell you not to come near here since this is the place where the suspect was going to be secured? But still, still, it seemed like fun. So what about the real Kazuo-chan? Um, Kazuo she said she couldn't contact Tae-chan as her smartphone battery ran out and hurried to the observation deck. <gasps> ah! It looks like it worked out well. They're going out! Oh my god! It's happened! Oh my god! Once more, their hands intertwined, but this time as cherished lovers! It's happened! Oh my god, it finally happened! It finally happened! Oh my god, it finally happened! I don't give a shit about anything else! My day has been... My year has been made! Oh my god, it finally fucking happened! It happened! Oh my god, he finally, Heiji finally confessed! Oh my god, it finally happened! The ship's official! Oh my god, the ship is official! It took how long? Oh my god! Best 30th anniversary! present for, for Detective Conan fans. The ship is official! Finally! Peiji X Kazuha is official! Finally! Finally! Oh my god! Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What you guys think? Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm losing my mind right now! alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more detective conan content a few ways you can do that donate to our cash app paypal patreon purchasing off our amazon wish list all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow us on twitter twitch discord friend us on playstation network that's in the description box below as well till next time nerdigans i will be seeing you later bye